All right, here we go. Pokemon Red, but every move is ground type. You might notice my shameless reuse of border assets from the last run. And like the last run, I have a feeling this challenge is going to be very easy. Yes, I remember how well that went last time. Hopefully I'm not vastly underestimating the difficulty this time though. Anyways, yes, we are playing Pokemon Red, but every move is now a ground type move. So Tackle, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, they're all ground type. Let's just jump right into it. Some of my viewers well-versed in Pokemon might be thinking to yourself, ah, yes, Sokio is going to choose Charmander as his starter, so his rival will only have one Flying-type Pokemon on his team. And you'd be wrong, because I choose Bulbasaur, which means rival is going to have three Flying-types on his team by the end of the game. Now, did I do this intentionally? No, absolutely not. I chose Bulbasaur for one solitary reason. It learns Leech Seed. And, oh boy, I can't wait for you to see it in all of its glory, but we're not there yet. I nicknamed Bulbasaur Root Ball, which I affectionately refer to as Football for the whole run, and I might call it that in this video, who knows, and then I head up to the west of Viridian City, catch a Nidoran, and name it Jackalope. Now, some of you might think that this is a bold move, catching a poison type for a ground move only run, but hear me out. Nidoran's second evolution, Nidoking, not only gains the ground type for that sweet, sweet stab, but it also learns Thrash on level up, which I'm thinking will be absolutely huge. Well, I thought that at the time at least, and yeah, Nidoking does end up being a good member of the team, but not for that reason. Let's get into my arbitrary rules for these runs. Number one, you have to name your Pokemon something cool like football. Number two, no TMs or HMs other than gym leader TMs. Number three, no items in battle. And number four, I swear there's another one that I always forget about. Anyways, I make it up to Viridian Forest and I catch this Caterpie and name it Dust Moth. And with that, we have our full team already. And you can probably see what strategy I'll be going with this run. I'll be attempting to use the Glass Cannon Jackalope to sweep through the easy fights. And then the tougher enemies like Flying Types, I'll be setting up Leech Seed with Football and using other status moves with Dust Moth. And the beauty of using Dust Moth, when it evolves, it gains Flying Type. Very few offensive moves will actually hit it, which is going to be huge. Unfortunately, since I do have all three team members already, I do need to do a little bit of training of Viridian Force before moving on. And it's honestly pretty tedious. Everything hits Jackalope like a truck. Football does very little damage with its tackle, and Dustmoth is in the same boat, but at least it resists everything, I guess. I decided to train in the forest because on occasion I do run into these Pikachu that go down pretty easy. Kakuna isn't too bad to fight, and I wouldn't really gain anything from training in the grass south of Pewter. And I just realized I misspelled Jackalope, oh well. Anyways, we finally get done training, or rather Dustmoth evolves and I get tired of training, and it's time to face Brock. I think this is going to work. I don't actually know if this is going to work or not. I'm just going to go for horn attack and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a bad idea. Let's just swap into Dust Moth here. <laughs> and we're just going to spam tackle. Because it just works. Hey, we still get levels. All right. And let's swap into Root Ball. Let's get a Leech Seed going. And let's set up a few Growl. Let's get Jackalope a little bit of experience here too. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh no, not bide. Uh, string shot. Actually, string shot will help out a lot here because we can outspeed the bide. Okay, he unleashed, so we're good to attack again and leech seed saps, and we're good. We won. Nice. So yeah, Jack Elope didn't really have much of a chance thinking back on it. Geodude and Onyx both had stab for their offensive moves and they're super effective against Jackalope, but oh well, we got through it easily enough and we're moving on. In Mount Moon, we encounter the first mandatory Zubat, and this is a reason why I chose football as my starter. The only way we can hit it right now is by using Leech Seed and stalling. And even if Dustmoth had poison powder, we can't even poison the Zubat, so these are gonna be a whole lot of fun later on. Making our way out of Mount Moon, we heal up at the Cerulean City Pokemon Center and head north to fight Rival. He doesn't have anything that can touch Dustmoth, so I think we got it. Uh, let's Leech Seed. All right, he was seeded, and let's swap in Dustmoth. All right, and we won. <laughs> After that fight and Dustmoth learning Poison Powder, I think, hey, why not? Let's take on Misty. All right, Misty time. Strategy is to absolutely cheese her <laughs> we're gonna seed star you and then swap into dust moth um and poison powder this is so broken and we just won 
Well, as long as we can do the same thing with Stormy. Okay, Confusion. All right, so we need to swap into Root Ball now. Okay. And now, Leech Seed Stormy. Ooh, okay, nice. It would hit. Swap back into Dust Moth. She can't do anything. We will Poison Powder. Get Tick Damage going. And now we just spam A. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> but it works! And I think this is the earliest we've beaten Misty. Nice, we did it. <laughs> and after that fight, Root Ball evolves into Ivysaur. And then after fighting a few trainers on Nugget Bridge, Jackalope evolves into Nidorino, and we immediately use a Moonstone, and it evolves into Nidoking. The team is coming together so quick compared to other runs. Jackalope is able to show off its high attack power against the trainers to the north of Cerulean, really going to show that the glass cannon strategy is well worth it. Anyways, we fight a bunch of trainers and go talk to Bill, who digs up the SSN ticket out of this backyard, and we make a beeline down to the lovely cruise ship to take on SSN Rival. And it goes about how you expect it to. We leech seed and poison powder the Pidgeotto, because what else are we gonna do? And then proceed to brute force the rest of his team with ease. The seasick captain with questionable career choices gives us HMO1, and we head on to fight Lieutenant Surge's gym. Now, normally I skip all the trainers in this gym, but seeing as they're all weak to ground type moves, I go ahead and train a against them before taking on Lieutenant Surge. Lieutenant Surge, I'm going to attempt to sweep with Jackalope, but I think we all know it's not that it might actually happen. It might happen. Jackalope sweep? That's two down, right you? A little scary with that Thunderbolt. We got the speed drop? Yes, we did it! First try, Lieutenant Surge, Jackalope Sweep. And we got Thunderbolt. And with gaining Thunderbolt, Jackalope learns the best move it possibly can in the game under my rules. And this is why I said earlier that Thrash wasn't really going to be that useful because Thunderbolt out damages it by a hair. Speaking of Thrash, on the way to Rock Tunnel, Jackalope does have the chance to learn it, and I cheated over Horn Attack because, I mean, it is a good power points management move. Now, nothing really exciting happened in Rock Tunnel except for this hiker making his Geodude self-destruct for no reason, so let's move on to Lavender Rival. What could go wrong? Let's just try it. Rival, Pokemon Tower, uh, let's do, uh, Leech Seed. Alright, we got him seeded, and we'll do Poison Powder. So that's good. Football is withstanding some of Pidgeotto's attacks, and... Leech Seed does help out with healing up a little bit, so we might be able to use Football a little bit more than anticipated uh, as far as stalling. I'm um, going to try to confuse Pidgeotto just to get some more uh, damage off on it, if I can. And uh, uh, yeah, that's all we can do. So I'll just Poison Powder, waste some para points, and it should go down this round. All right, cool. Pidgeotto is down. Awesome. Uh, now we got Execute, which is four times resistant to uh, ground-type moves. Wait, no, 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 no. It's only two times resistant. It's only, it's only, it's only resistant. It's only basic resistant. Okay. So that's not, that's not too bad. All right. Put it to sleep. And, oh, that's, that's what it is. I can't use Leech Seed on it. Because it's a grass type. Okay. So we'll get it confused. I really didn't need to put it to sleep. And then we'll just poison it. I could attack it? How much is this going to do? That does nothing. All right. Let's, uh, I'm worried about swapping in Jackalope. But I know he'll have the easiest time with getting it down. Let's just do Thunderbolt, see how much damage that is. Nothing. Alright, so Executor's gonna be awful. Uh, Gyarados. <laughs> Instant swap. Alright, so does this Gyarados know... Does this Gyarados know Dragon Rage? It's only using Hydro Pump. Oh, there's Dragon Rage. Okay, so Dragon Rage does hit. Dragon Rage is affected by type immunities. <laughs> that's, that's confirmed. Okay, so that's gonna... That's going to hurt late game. Oh, I need to confuse it again. Okay, this round should go down. Please don't... Okay, good. It did not use Dragon Rage again. Really, we can just use Jackalope for Kadabra Alakazam. That line. Yeah, that was a crit. That... <laughs> yeah, we... We got this. <laughs> and Charmeleon... 
I think we can probably just use Jackalope. Now when it evolves, which is going to be literally the next battle that we have against Rival. <laughs> so that's that's something to watch out for. Now you'll notice I was confirming Dragon Rage does hit Dust Moth in that battle. On Bubblepedia, Dragon Rage is listed as not ignoring type immunities in Generation 1, unlike other set damage and direct damage moves like Sonic Boom. But as we can see, it does behave like the other moves do, and it does hit immune types. So with that information, I head over to Celadon and check out the game corner just to see how much Dratini costs, but it's a bit too much for my wallet, so I put that strategy in the back of my mind for now. Coming back to Pokemon Tower, I spent a full three minutes fighting this Team Rocket Grunt with his Zubat Golbat team, finish off the other two and kick them off the tower, get the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji, and head west of Celadon to do some training on Cycling Road. Cycling Road is a great place to train in this run because there's a whole lot of trainers with poison types, which makes raising up the team very easy. Now that everything is level 30 and over, I head over to Erica's gym, and while there, I take part in one of the greatest battles of the century against this cool trainer. To start with, her Weepin' Bell paralyzes football and starts spamming rap. Not wanting football to lose an uphill battle, I swap into Dust Moth. And we see a funny thing about multi-term moves. They might not do any damage to types that are immune, but they still stall. So I just wait until Weeping Bell finally misses and Dust Moth gets a big hit off on it. Well, then the cool trainer swapped into Gloom, and I mean, this trainer class has a chance to do that, so no surprise there. But then after chipping Gloom down to one hit, the, the cool trainer just starts rotating between Gloom and Weepin' Bell. And honestly, I kind of want to see how long this lasts. And it goes on for quite a bit before we finally end the battle. So that was fun. Let's fight Erica. We're going to lead off with Jackalope and just try to take out the Victory Bell immediately. Just keep it from doing any sort of shoot. Okay, well, at least we survived. <laughs> so that, that's a good sign. Um, and now Tangela, let's swap into, this is, this resists everything and is immune to leech seeds. So we got to swap into this moth here and we're going to use a poison powder on it and we're going to stupid bind. <laughs> okay. So poison is still ticking. So if you have, if you poison a Pokemon that is immune to wrap and then you Wrap it, you're essentially just wasting turns because you're not doing any damage. Wrap, the wrap is animation is still going, so the poison Pokemon, even though it's immune to wrap, is still bound, it can't move, and it's taking poison damage. That is crazy. <laughs> We're learning so much in, in this run specifically. <laughs> I need to confuse it again. We're wasting we're wasting too many too many confusions. If it will confuse. Okay, there we go. Please hurt yourself. There we go. One more turn. Okay. It's finally down. And Vile Plume. Uh, let's do... Uh, this one is awful. It's resistant to poison. It's resistant to leech seed. So we just have to go at it. Pretty much. Will it still confuse itself after Petal Dance is finished? I guess we won't know. Because <laughs> it never did any damage. I, I assume it would. I assume it would. All right, we got Mega Drain. Um, we're not going to teach anything Mega Drain, though. It's not really the best move for this run. Leaving Celadon ahead of her Sylph, and after fighting exactly one Team Rocket member, I decide planning a route around the rest of the Rockets who have Zubat and Golbat would be a really good decision because they are an extreme waste of time. So after making a list of who I can and cannot fight, we fight this Rocket to get the card key, and football evolves into Venusaur, fully completing the team. And after fighting all of the non-annoying rockets of Sylph, Dust Moth and Jackalope are at level 35, Football is at level 36, and it's time to take on Sylph Rival. And I pretty much just used the strat that I've used before, swapping between Dust Moth and Football as needed to do chip damage. Luckily, none of Rival's team is poison, so we can always use poison powder, and we can leech seed almost everything, save the execute. Unluckily, Three of his five Pokemon in this battle are immune to ground-type moves, and Execute resists them, leaving Alakazam the only member of his team to take neutral damage in this battle. That being said, I could swap in Jackalope for Alakazam, but I just keep Stall Strat going because Jackalope will be getting more than enough XP in the upcoming gym battles anyways. 
Another thing to note, we could have gotten wrecked by the Gyarados. All it needed to do was hit three Dragon Rages on Dustmoth to effectively turn the battle in Rival's favor. But Gen 1 AI and all that, we win easily enough and we're moving on to Giovanni. We might be able to sweep a Jackalope here. We'll see. Uh, we'll just use Thunderbolt against Nidorino. Easy one shot. Kangaskhan is not going to be one shot. And it does some major damage. Ooh, we got the para. Nice. A crit rage. Come on, dude. That that's messed up. <laughs> that's like that's like 80 power right there from it being super effective. Dang, Jackaloop. Hmm. I thought it would have survived that one. All right. Change the football. We need to get Jackaloop leveled up a little bit. Of course, we haven't fought Koga yet, so we can always fight Koga and get some more levels. Kicking Giovanni and Team Rocket out of Sylth, I immediately head up to Sabrina's gym for something that I wish I could have gotten a while ago. Some of you might be predicting it, I fully intend on using arguably one of the worst moves in the game unironically. Yes, I'm planning on using Psywave in this run if you can believe it. Alright, Sabrina time. Uh, let's just try to sweep with Jackalope, maybe it'll work out better this time. Luckily, Kadabra and Alakazam have awful attack, so nothing they can do is even a worry. Uh, Vinovoff, this is the one that's a little questionable. Crit probably mattered, but Oko and Alakazam is going to be easy. Psywave kind of sucks because it's fixed damage, but oh well, we got it. It didn't roll that high. And we got Sabrina down. Nice. Let's go. Yes, we get Psywave and I teach it right away to Dustmoth, getting rid of Supersonic. Supersonic has seen its use in this run, but really the only reason to use it is for chip damage against things that are immune to attacks and either can't be poisoned or can't be seeded. So things like Zubat or Execute. But now we have Psywave that can do direct damage to those type of Pokemon. And it's a bit more accurate than the coin flip of Supersonic. So overall, a pretty good trade. Moving on from Saffron, I head down to Fuchsia, do the Safari Zone, pick up the Gold Teeth, Surf, and attempt to catch this Chansey, but it runs away, ending our Safari Zone experience on a low note. But on a high note, it's Koga time. All right, Koga. Literally, we're just going to brute force again with Jackalope. <laughs> that's, that's just the strategy from here on out, pretty much. And so far, we're doing pretty good. One shot everything. Weezing's not going to be a one shot. There's no way. Okay, it goes for self-destruct. Jackaloop's down. Yep. <laughs> but we won. Anyways, <laughs> there we go. And we get Toxic, which is going to be so huge. And oh man, this is a game changer for the stall strat. But we're not there yet. Be patient. Be patient. After beating Koga, I head south from Pallet Town to go to Cinnabar. And I run into this fisherman to fight his Magikarp. And it's here that I realize... I've been looking at Magikarp's red blue sprite completely wrong all of these years. I've been looking at this fin like it's some huge dorky weird side fin but no that's its tail also looking at all the other gen 1 sprites from magikarp the og red green sprite is actually the best looking out of all of them and that's never the case and i don't have a feel about it but enough about strange fish artwork let's take on blaine all right blaine time we're gonna send jackalope out again and i didn't even bother to heal because blaine should be should be okos all the way through Ooh, fire spin I did not anticipate that happening. <laughs> but we, okay. Oh no, take down. Okay, uh, help me football. Razor Leaf. All right, it's gonna be a two hit. And we did it. Nice, let's go. Blaine's down. Blaine was easy enough. Poor Jackalope being weak to everything isn't doing him any favors. He is the absolute definition of a glass cannon. Moving on to Giovanni's gym, we can finally see the Leech Seed Toxic combo in action. And I knew it was broken, but I did not realize it was this broken. Let's get Leech Seed going. And we'll see how well... Did it avoid it? Wait, does... Does Leech Seed... Does Leech Seed absorb the health that Toxic does? Yes, kind of, which is crazy broken. Toxic is based on a per turn incrementer. So it starts off doing 1 16th HP damage the first turn, second turn it does 2 16th, third turn it does 3 16th, and so on and so forth. Leech Seed, for some reason, uses this same counter. So Toxic will do 1 16th the first turn, and if Leech Seed is active, Leech Seed will do 2 16th. Then the next turn, Toxic will do 
three sixteenths, and Leech Seed will do four sixteenths. And Leech Seed is healing while it's doing this, which is absolutely wild. But anyways, enough of this toxic talk. Let's fight Giovanni. Let's try the sweep with Jackalope again. I, we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, Thunderbolt. Okay, so we didn't Oko the Rhyhorn. So I don't think we're going to Oko anything except this Dugdrio. Uh, Nidoking Queen came very close. So Nidoking King, with that level up, Nidoking King might be an Oko. Okay, crit. That might have mattered, I don't know. Right on will be a two hit. Yep. <sighs> oh, dang. <laughs> that wasn't even a crit. That was crazy damage. Good lord. Maybe I should have gotten a ride on. Yep, I'm absolutely getting a ride on for future use. After that fight, I teach Jackalope Fire Blast just to do it, and we go fight Rival. I think we start off with football here. Leech Seed, go into Dustmoth Toxic, and swap back into football for healing. Okay, Toxic. And we got the poison off. All right, get back into football. And we might actually heal all that up. Okay, no, we're not we're not healing that up yet. We're gonna start healing it all up though. <laughs> this is this is such a broken strategy. <laughs> Alright, Rhyhorn, um, we need the level, so we'll raise relief. I'm surprised that didn't okay. Well, okay, never mind, because Rhyhorn is defensive, obviously. We're attacking it. Okay. R Rhyhorn Rhydon actually would have been a pretty good pick for this run. I should have thought about that earlier. Uh, execute. Let's swap into Dustmoth. Let's get a Toxic off on it. Ooh, that Paralyze hurts. Uh, let's go into Jackalope here. And let's just see how much a Fire Blast does. That Solar Beam did nothing. Is Execute's attack just that low? I guess it's just that low. That's crazy. Okay, Gyarados. We need to put him to sleep. Alright, and swap into football. Let's get a Leech Seed going. If I can get enough growths... Okay. Uh, wait, I can't even do anything. What, what am I doing? <laughs> I can't even hit it. I can't even damage it. Uh, let's do Toxic. And it's not poisoned yet. Okay, good. It's poisoned now. Um, we can hit Psy Wave. Right? Okay, I guess we can't. I guess we're not going to find out. Let's try to use Psy Wave against Charizard. Because that didn't look like it did anything. It may have been just a 1 HP, but it looked like it didn't do anything. Um, Psy Beam won't take this out, especially after a Reflect. Uh, let's swap into Jackalope. That's not going to do anything. Yeah. Uh, I want Jackalope to get the experience, so let's swap into football. Yeah, good thing we did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to get caught in a loop there. All right, Jackalope leveled up. Good. Um, all right, let's do a Leech Seed here. Swap into Dust Moth. Just get some healing going. And let's do Psy Wave. Okay, Psy Wave does hit flying types. Okay, okay, okay. I was a little concerned there. I'll, mm, <laughs> that was just a uh, unlucky 1 HP. Looks like we're just going to win off of uh, Bleach Seed. <laughs> All right. Rival is down. Nice. Winning the penultimate rival fight, we make it through Victory Road, and I do a bit of training while in there. Dustmoth and Jackalope are both level 45, and Root Ball is level 46, and it's time to take on the final challenge of the run, the Elite Four. Uh, L Lorelei... I don't have a strategy for Lorelei. We're just gonna try, I guess. Here's the problem with using Toxic so much. Toxic has 10 power points, which I do have a PP up. So we can get it boosted a little bit. I think that gives us like 12 if we use the power points up. 
but I know I'm going to have to use it on two Gyarados, Pidgeot, Charizard, Aerodactyl, and Dragonite. So six Pokemon. I kind of want to use Toxic on all of Lorelei's Pokemon too, <laughs> because they're so bulky. So we're going to try it. <sighs> Dugong knows rest. This is going to, yeah, I can't, I don't know if I can do this. Now, if I get Leech Seed going... Okay, what if it, what if it rests with Leech Seed? Is Leech Seed going to... Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth. Leech Seed keeps that same proportion of damage. Good lord, dude. Okay, that's so broken. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I could definitely abuse it. I'm not going to. I want to, but I'm not going to. A clamp. Um, let's try for Psy Wave. It looks like I can probably actually do more damage with Psy Wave than okay than a uh, Psy Beam. All right, Cloister's down. That was probably the scariest member of her team, except for Lapras. Lapras is a little bulky too. Uh, Slowbro is just a matter of knocking out. As long as it doesn't... I don't stay confused. Okay, we need, we gotta swap out. I'm scared about swapping into Jackalope, because it's definitely going to hurt when it gets hit. Let's go to football? I get set up with growth. I have a feeling I'm going to level up after this. Good lord, dude. We're not doing anything. This is why I want to use Toxic Leech Seed on <laughs> Lorelei's Pokemon. <laughs> we're, we're doing no damage. Um, It's so cheesy, but we have to. It's the only way we're going to win. And Psy Wave actually did so. Okay, okay, well, we slow bros down. Uh, Jinx. Please do more damage. Please crit. Please crit. Please crit. Okay, and Lapras. Let's uh, let's put Lapras to sleep and do a sleep powder or a leech life, leech seed. Hydro pump hurts, not as bad as it could. And do I spam growth here? And try. Well, Razor Leaf isn't gonna. Lapras is too bulky. <laughs> we, we can't. <laughs> I have to swap into Dust Moth. Psy Wave? Please do more damage. Okay, finally. Lorelei is down. <laughs> that took way too long. <laughs> Alright, we got Bruno next. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay with, with power points. We're doing okay. Not the best, but we're doing okay. Uh, Jackalope didn't see any action that round, but I don't think I'm going to use him against Bruno because his Pokemon are really, really tanky. I mean, I could. I have revives. I mean, I might as well. I might as well. Let's use Jackalope just to get some levels against Bruno. Um, I don't think anything is going to be a one hit. But two hits work. Hitmonchan, yeah, I don't think anything's going to be a one hit, and that hurt really bad. Oh, okay, Jackalope's down. <laughs> the power of Hitmonchan when he actually has moves that are physical. <laughs> um, yeah, that's doing nothing. Bruno is actually a threat. If it wasn't for, you know, having uh, Dust Moth. Like, can't touch me. <laughs> you cannot touch Dust Moth. <laughs> uh, the only bad thing is I only have five more. I have 15 more power, uh, power points and attacks and... Yeah, that's how much damage Psybeam's doing. Come on, Toxic. Pull through for me. Okay, good. And Machamp. Toxic. 
Side beam! It just works. We're cheesing Bruno. It just works. <laughs> you need a set damage move, Bruno. That's the only way you're going to beat me. All right, so Agatha... Let's go ahead and use our rare candy now. And let's give another rare candy to Jackalope, because he... really needs to be able to outspeed all of these Pokemon. All right, Agatha time. Let's see if Jackalope can outspeed. No, this sucks. Okay, but Gengar is a one-shot. All right, Golbat, we cannot fight him with Jackalope. We have to swap into Dustmoth. All right, Sleep Powder. We got Sleep Powder going. Football, we need Leech Seed going. All right, so swap back into Dustmoth. And Psy Wave. Oh, shoot, you made me waste a Psy Wave. That's cheap. All right, uh, Jackalope, we can... Take out this Haunter. Are you serious? <laughs> this sucks. And Leech Seed goes away. I just thought Agatha was going to be easy. Okay. Okay, we're doing really good with Psywave. Psywave clutched it! Let's go! Okay, Golbat is... Down. Okay. Okay, let's swap into Jackalope. Arbok should be a one hit. Yes, it is. Haunter is going to be a one hit. It's a sleep still. And Gengar. Nightshade, that's fine. One hit, please. Yes! Agatha's down. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> that was too close. Way too close. All right, we're leading off with Dustmoth. Ooh. <laughs> this is intense. All right, Lance time. Gyarados is going to be easy, I think. Famous last words, I know. We just need to put it to sleep. And then football. Leech Seed. And then Dust Moth. Now we just wait for it to wake up. Use a few sideways while it's sleeping. Okay, yeah, kind of figured that. Uh, it's gonna wake up. Yeah. Nice. Good read. Good read. Alright, now we wait for Toxic Leech Seed to <laughs> do its damage. It's so broken. I love it. Alright, uh, Dragonair, let's put this to sleep and give, uh, give Jackalope a little bit of love here. Fire Blast. Almost one-shots. Nice. All right, do another Fire Blast. Dragon Rage is exactly what we wanted. Okay. Aerodactyl we cannot hit. We got to swap back into Dust Moth. And Toxic. I did not mean to do that. Uh, please don't Hyper Beam. Please don't Hyper Beam. Okay, good. All right, and we need to Leech Seed. Hyper Beam sucks. Okay. All right, well, we still have our Toxic user here. That's fine. Um... I only have three more Psy Wave. How many toxic do I have? Okay, we can... It, it doesn't really matter because... Well, Aerodactyl does have Supersonic. Okay, we need to take it out. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. All right, Dragonite. Please, 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 please don't hit yourself in confusion. Okay, and now let's just stall. Actually, we can use one more Psy Wave. Okay, <laughs> now we just stall. <laughs> and we beat Lance. Nice. <laughs> okay, champion time. Ooh, here we go. Nice. All right, champion battle. Pidgeot. We got to go for sleep powder. Hey, it's asleep. It can't use sky attack. And we do leech seed. It was seeded. Let's go back in here. All right, get some Psy Wave off. I meant to go for Toxic, but... Okay, yeah. <laughs> I should... Psy Wave. Hey, Psy Wave did it. Nice. All right, Alexam, Sleep Powder. Into Jackalope. We're just going to try to one-shot it here. 
Reflect may have saved it. Yep, but paralyze. And rival did not heal. Nice. All right, right on. Let's try for a fire blast. Try for a horn drill. Okay, get out of here with that. All right, executor. We need to swap into dust moth and just get a toxic off because nothing else can really do much. Um, Psy wave. Please start poisoning. Okay, there's the hypnosis. That's not what I wanted to see, but it's poison, so we're fine. All right, Gyarados. Oh, please wake up. 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 Come on. Please wake up. Okay, we can survive two more Dragon Rages. We need to put it to sleep. You immediately woke up. You, you, oh my goodness. Okay, please stay asleep. Please stay asleep. Stay asleep. All right, Leech Seed. It was seeded. Wake up. No, that's fine. We can survive a Dragon Rage now. All right, Toxic. Good. All right, I'm going to stall it out with Sleep Powder. All right, Leech Seed is coming in. We're healing so much. <laughs> Let's go. Dragon Rage does not matter anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love Leech Seed Toxic. I love it. All right. Um... Let's just go for Toxic. We're being brazen about it. Toxic and go for Leech Seed. Fire Spin is okay because it's not doing anything. You're just wasting time. All right. Leech Seed. He was seeded. Let's try to stall him with growth. And we won. <laughs> we won. Let's go. Oh boy. What a run. Dust Moth was undeniably the MVP of that run. Coming in clutch whenever needed. And there you have it. Pokemon Red. But every move is ground type. Thank you so much for watching. I have some new stuff planned coming up along with keeping this series and my other Pokemon type series going and hopefully some new Starfield related content might be coming in the near future. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. I haven't forgotten about the stream yet either. I plan on doing something special for it. So just keep watch for any updates here or on Twitter regarding that. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.